TFWire.com Video Review. Hey gang, Spada here, and I'm bringing you another video review. This time we're taking a look at Deluxe Movie Stockade. Deluxe Movie Stockade is actually an amalgamation of several different GM vehicles and non-GM vehicles. Obviously, when the first thing I think of when I look at this thing is a Cadillac Escalade, but it doesn't have a lot of what the Cadillac Escalade has. It's definitely a different structure up here. Its back is a little different. The roof racks look the same. But it's not what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a GM, I believe, Yukon. Doesn't look like that either. It's really, though, supposed to be the Sector 7 SUV. Even though it's a Decepticon. I don't know if you can see the little Decepticon symbol there in the grill, which is pretty cool. Um, it's car. That's about it. There's nothing else I can say other than it's a black SUV. So let's go ahead and transform it. I'm going to zoom out here a little bit so you can get a better view. First thing we're going to do is take the figure and break its front off. Next thing we're going to do is grab the side here and flip it completely around like so. Next thing we're going to do is rotate this front section of the vehicle all the way around to the back. Rotate his feet out and just expose the rest of his feet. The next thing we're going to do is going to grab up here and fold him open like that, like that. Now, you can also grab back here and actually just push the tire flat against the back. Then we're going to grab the section between the tail lights here and rotate that back all the way to expose the head. Turn the head around. Now, this is a little bit tricky. You actually have to get in here and fold it forward and back. Once again, forward and then let it go back. And then the coup de gras is to just flip these sides out to expose the hands fully. Now I actually really like the look of this figure. I think he looks menacing. He's unique, definitely. As you can see the all-spark all power blue is showing up and a lot more gray and white are shown in this figure. His gimmick in this mode is you grab here and his fist flies out and it works on both arms. And his hands actually open up rather nicely like that. I really like this figure. It's a very gorilla-esque looking figure. I just I really, really like this figure. I don't know why. I just think it looks neat. It's something we haven't seen before. It's fun. It's a very easy transformation. Things don't really get in the way all that much. He's got okay posability. He's very top heavy. The joints or the connections down here on his ank ankles are very, very flimsy and very loose. But at the same point, He's the end of the line. I mean, literally, there aren't going to be any more figures. And if you'll excuse me, my leg has just fallen asleep. But as the last three figures that I've gotten from the movie line being um, Landmine, which is actually taller than Stockade, and most of the other deluxe figures are taller than Stockade, but hey, I think Stockade looks cool. He's black, black SUV. It's pretty nifty. Um, if you look at the other figures, I think out of the three new molds, I think he's the best. He Well, let me rephrase that. He's definitely my favorite. I would love to see him repainted in red and black, given a new head, and maybe make him more of a rumble figure. Because, I mean, with, with uh, this expanding, extending arm, feature that would be awesome for rumble but that's just me i think that'd be cool uh i pick this guy up if you guys see him in the store i pick him up i did notice he's short packed that was just 
I got him today, so I noticed that he was short packed, but maybe he'll get more packed as time goes on. But uh, I really like him. Uh, so I say pick him up if you can. If you can't, hey, no big deal. Catch you guys later.